Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Today's video is for Not Just For Boys Kit Club, and I'm on the design team. And I'm designing with the Electric Premium Kit for April 2021. So, I thought that I would celebrate the first day of spring. So, I took this here handy dandy photo out in my front flower bed. I mean, there's leaves and brush and yuck, but my daffodils that I planted in the fall are just starting to emerge. And this one right here has a little yellow bud. I'm excited. And it's like 50 degrees outside today and it is starting. It is finally starting. If you live in the Northern climate in the US, you know what I'm talking about we can go outside without a parka. It's quite the big deal. So now I don't quite have a plan yet, which is fine, except I do know I'm going to use this piece right here. This is Paige Evans Wonder Number 14. And it's very cool and mandala kind of like, tile like, what have you. The back side is this very, very sweet green with little tiny cute flowers. And I have a couple of scraps of that left. That's cool. And I also have a scrap of this one right here. It is Jen Hatfield Patio Party. It is the flip side and it is a tone on tone, tone uh, floral. Just it's black on black. And I think it's awesome, but it's not like inky black. It's kind of charcoal-y black. Okay, great. So I have that. Because anytime I create with a kit, especially, I mean, I create with kits like 90% of the time. Anyway, uh, I like to see what my scraps are and if they could possibly work. Like, seriously, this is all, is this it? Yep, this is the only scraps I have at this time. Hmm, wow, a snorting bulldog. Uh, I also have this tissue that our kits come with, which is kind of a fun idea to add like a, semi-translucent layer. So I'll put that on my desk. Now I took our alphas, which these are the Jen Hadfield Navy alphas, and they're like a, like the darkest navy ever. And they're puffy, but they're like um, pliable puffy. They're really kind of fantastic. And I this is my second layout. And I've done long titles on both because I can with all of these. So I have that handy dandy. Now, I do have this cut file, which is a la carte um, with me, but when I'm looking at this paper, I keep thinking about putting my title around the circle. So probably not gonna use the a la carte cut file, but I did want it with me in case. Like I really like those leafy bits. I just don't know if I, like if you got a cut file police, if you cut those off, I will see. The other thing that I grabbed from a la carte were these, adorable sweet little mushroom textile applique thingies they're rather thin which i wasn't sure when i got them but oh my gosh they are fabric and they're so cute they're gray and white little mushrooms now is this a mushroom photo everybody since people you know might want to get literal no but it's something coming out of the ground so for me it's gonna work so I'm gonna keep my cute little mushrooms as part of my design somewhere. I've got my title. Let's see. Got some bits in here that I should look through. Like these are the days would be good. Now these are by Pink Fresh. Sorry, not Pink Fresh. Freckled Fawn, and they're chipboard. And I just popped them all out of their handy dandy little chipboard home to put into my container. And there's um, adhesive on the back. So see, that says these are the days. This was fantastic. It's not that big of a deal. I do like this little camera piece. Let's see. Hey, friend. No, no. Thought I would see. Ooh, I like this little life one. That's kind of cute with a tiny bit of red. So I think I'll have that handy dandy for now. Awesome. So this is what I do. I pretty much go through my kit bit by bit and process of elimination it if that makes sense so what else let me see what the that's a little brighter i was trying to see if i want to bring in these card stocks but i want this yellow to really shine so i have to watch that 
Yep, absolute process of elimination. Now this would be pretty against this. This is Maggie Holmes' garden party, and I think I'm gonna make this into a layer because it's all these different tones of yellow as well as a pinker shade and that kind of like allows that red, uh, red, not legal, let it, yep, yep, ledger, yes, mm -hmm. kind of come in. So, but like I said, it's just going to be a layering piece for my purposes with this because I want that, that paper to be really like the star. Now what I want to see is how do I feel about this mica miss being in the background yeah i think i'm going to do a little smooshing with that all right i pretty much plowed through that part of my kit i'm going to make sure let's see do i want to use anything else that's in the a la carte section and whatnot from the store on this it's always so fun like i like to mix and match my um my supplies <laughs> so so it's fun just to see. Now we have gold and black in this side. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start working. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna trim off my branding strip. I want to give my photo lots of treatment with layers. I have navy alpha, so I have to make sure to bring in some more navy. And I do have these freckled fawn two pieces here, so that's really gonna help to bring them in. Let me get my block that I like to use because I cut one of these at least into two pieces. So I'll have like three blue bits. So what I was thinking, oh, I didn't tell you, we got this coolest little um, vellum booklet in our kit this month. So I want to go through here and see what I might be able to make into die cuts out of these stamp pieces too. There's some with lots of nice color. So I want to go take a look at them. All right, so whole point of what I'm saying is, let's see, where shall, what side? I I like my photos on this side for the most part. I don't know why. I wanna be able to see a lot of that circular stuff. Do I like it here? Like, I'm actually looking to see which way the little flower bud head thing is facing. That's ridiculous. I am ridiculous. All right, taking out the branding strip, I'm going to get a bunch of matting done on this. I need to choose what pieces I want to use as die cuts for my vellum book, as well as bringing my cute little mushrooms. And, oh, guys, if I'm bringing in that color as well, I should use some of both of my Nouveau Mists. I have Wild Olive as well as Silver Smoke from Nouveau. Okay. I'm going to get working on this and I'll come back when I have a tiny bit of traction. All right, so let's do a quick check-in time. I did the smoosh technique, but not super heavy with both of my Nuvos. So you see a little bit of shimmer of olive. You see some shimmer of, I should say the colors right again, wild olive and silver smoke. You do see them. Now my title isn't on, it's just on wax paper, but I wanted to choose which of the circular parts on here that I wanted to, um, yeah, I, I wanted to be able to, to pick where exactly I wanted it. And I want it to go along the circle heading into the photo. And my photo's not attached down yet either. I have my little mushrooms are gonna be on the side. And then I did go ahead and pick out a few of these little vellum pieces and they're so, cute these cute little stamped images so i do like that they're pulling in a little bit of a red tone i think that's really really fun so what else what else what else i'm kind of feeling like i want a little shelf or something down here for the mushrooms and the stamps and all of that so i'm looking at my scraps of paper trying to decide like do i like the vibe that i'm getting with them or should I go in with something just a little bit different? So I gotta figure it out. I know it's a big deal. Oh, oh, oh. Well, look at this. I've got a little navy slice here and that will bring in the navy happy first day of spring. This is perfect, 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 perfect. So I would want it to go. Oh, and both my boys are getting themselves a good old fashioned 
nap. I am scrapping this on a Saturday sunny afternoon and they are ever so pleased with their puppy lives. So, oh, and I took them for a walk, so they're tuckered out. All right, so I do like that. Awesome. Like I was needing another navy kind of thing. And it doesn't even have to be like a really big deal. You know, sometimes you just want something on there that will work. It's just how it is. And I'm looking at the blue right now on my sticker sign. I feel like it's just a little bit more vibrant than I want. But what I do see that I'm kind of digging is I've got these craft colored labels. And I bet I can get these guys on there really well. And it reminds me of the dirty leaves and stuff in the background. <sighs> a lot going on. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to detail cut out my stamps a little bit more. I don't know if I necessarily need the whole area. So I'm going to do that so I can tuck some things in. It'll be cute. Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice these cute little bits here, but I can save this really great rectangle for a later date, unless I want to use it now. I don't know. I'm going to trim off the leaves and see what I want to do because I need some additional leafy bits is what I have decided. All right, I am going to keep working on this process, but I did want to bring you in and show you where I am. And I'll be back in a minute. I have a nice bit of traction going here. My paper's a little bit warped, but I'll be able to lay it under a paper pad and it'll squash right down. Not a big deal. So I do like this detail that I've come on, come in with. I have those leafy bits from that um, die cut, that cut file I showed you. This cute little mushroom vellum piece layered with a mushroom piece. This is just a little branding strip. Not a big deal. I've got a couple of labels tucked in here, and this label slipped, everyone. There we go. Got a couple layers tucked in, labels tucked in, and the same thing is repeating on the other side with the label here, so it's got a nice heavy corner. Now, I wanted to maybe use this cute little arrow piece right here. It's a, it's a little tiny stamp bit. I don't need a big thing, but look at how cute. It's just so little and I'm wondering, do I want to stamp it? Yeah, I stamping it in gray would be perfect as I have this, these cute little gray mushrooms. So let's see, I'm gonna stamp that in. I'm gonna build up a little bit of a spot right here to have your eye go to where you should start reading the, uh, the title. So I'm doing first, second and third generation stamping which just means how many times you've stamped the little guy. So that'll come around that way. That's very, very cute. Yeah, I like I like the whole directional thing. So that did what I wanted. Cute. Um, yeah, and I, and I like the three arrows. Awesome. So at this point, this is my looking around and seeing the what's what situation. I've got vellum. I've got just the background sheet. Now, my photo is one, two, three, four, five. It has five mats, with one of them being the tissue paper from the Kit Club, which is great. I've decided not to use my chipboard pieces because I just am not going to. Actually, there's no good reason why. But that's just how the creative process goes. I've got this piece left over from the cut file because I kind of couldn't help myself. I had to use those leaves, I did. I use two labels from this. I do this whole like get out anything that might work and then put away the rest. It's just something I do. Now I have these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sequins that were a la carte that match this kit. And I also have these bow bunny candy dots. Now I'm not interested in bringing in the black at this time because I'm using navy and gray, but don't worry, they will be used. I absolutely adore it. So I'm looking at this and I have my whole, um, my whole title on this. So let's see. And I have this many little dots. So what if I followed it and put pearly dots on the way and it'll create, continue the circle. Okay. I like the idea that I'm coming up with. All right. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to get that on there. And I'm going to do some splatty bits with my Nouveau and I'll be back in a minute. All right, my friend, this is finished and I ended 
up bringing in a little row of pearls along this edge that leads to happy and then a tone on tone yellow grouping of the um sequins as well and i thought it turned out really well i liked that it kept the directionality without being a super bold color brought you right back to the picture and it brought you right back around again i did add just a little bit more nouveau and like i said i just have to go ahead once it's dry squash it down with something nice and heavy and it'll lay good and flat i love the addition of the tissue paper i think it gives you know a translucent kind of a vibe and i put two layers of that tissue on just just for knowledge i made sure to get some of my mist as well uh hit with or some of these little viney bits i wanted them to get hit with a nouveau and i love the way that came out all right so i will have links down below for the not just for boys kit club blog uh, where you're gonna see all kinds of inspiration from the different design team members to our Facebook group where not only does design team um, put all of their creations but lots of members of our group do as well and then we have the store which is full of kits and a la carte items and all of that kind of goodness all right, that's what I have for you today. I hope you like what I came up with, and I'll see you guys ever so soon. Goodbye, friends.